Well, hello everybody. Welcome down into the dungeon. I hope you had a great Monday behind you. It is Tuesday and we are beginning the broadcast week yet again. Um, figured we'd start here, but we won't be here long because those little seeds that I sprouted from the uh, sandwich bag, some of those are actually sprouting up. So I figured we should definitely take a look at that. But right here on the super chilies on this little shelf, I was happily noticing they're finally starting to get some new growth going and... Of course, we can start the week's worth of gratuitous ladybug shots. Guess I won't be shaking that one out over the fish tank anytime soon. That ahi panic back there, though. Yeah, that one's definitely getting shaken over the fish tank. Always such a hard light spectrum change for my camera. But I hope you can see how well that sage is doing down there. I think I might get more of these um, purpley blue little 30 watt lights or uh, I think it was only 16 it was a $30 light running at about 16 watts so yeah definitely thinking about picking up a couple more of those because this one here as much as I love it and the tomatoes are loving the spectrum just keeps cutting out on me and uh, I'd like to take it out of circulation and fix it before I'm stuck using it again. Something tells me I may have forgotten to water that lettuce. Just a hunch. So here we have the warming mat with our little humidomes. And while there is that weird sort of mildewy growth on the top there, I suspect that'll take care of itself once it gets more air. I see at least one popping up in each of those cups for the Ahi Fantasies. And there may even be a second one sprouting up there. So that is excellent. I wasn't honestly expecting any of them to survive transplanting. So having a couple of them do it is great. I've got that twisted a little bit so we can just start adjusting them. These are the Bootla clam shells. Huh? Just knock that over. That to the side for now. The Bootla clam shells we can see just up from my fingernail there. That one's just busting out of the soil. Got one there that's just busting out of the soil. I don't see anything going on in that third one yet. But two out of three ain't bad, right? If it worked for me, loaf it'll work for me. And Ahi Fantasy back here that I transplanted a couple days earlier. I've got two of them. So it looks like I've got at least five Ahi Fantasies to play with. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to stick with us, but I'm hopeful. And it looks like we might have at least two bootla clamshells to play with, so that is going to be fun. A little scary as far as the bootlas go, because I understand they're fairly hot pepper. I watched Rob Z try that chocolate bootla anyway, and it didn't look like a sweet pepper. These Ahi Fantasies, on the other hand, not supposed to be anywhere near as painful. And it looks... Uh, frankly, I got those peppers because of the way the pod looks. It kind of reminds me of the Nepalese bell, but a whiter, a cream color, so I just uh, had to give it a grow. It is Ahi Fantasies that are headed out to the uh, top level Patreon members this month, so those are on their way. They will get to you sooner or later. I'd love to hear back from anybody as to whether or not your scotch brains have sprouted. The ones that I put in the styrofoam cups haven't sprouted yet, but I'm gonna put some into our little sandwich baggie set up here because if they're gonna survive the transplant, I'm going to use the system. <laughs> if it works, it works. Great. No need to reinvent the wheel. On that note, actually, let's, let's take a look at our bad brains and see if we've got some longer tails on those. But yeah, I'd love to hear back about those Scotch brain seeds, guys. So looking at these bad brains seeds, it does seem like they've all sprouted tails. And I could have sworn when I flipped this previously, that's a root going all the way through the paper towel, so... I believe it was suggested to me that I can just cut that piece out with the paper towel in there and transplant it anyway. Not going to be a problem. This is looking like some nasty material though, so I'm quite glad to be getting these seeds out of here. Guess I'll need to figure out some transplant spots. So as it turns out, all nine of the Bad Brains seeds that I tossed into that sandwich baggie did sprout little tails. So, I forgot to date that gonna need another piece of tape but whatever it was Tuesday I'm sure I'll remember that as long as they continue surviving transplant like these ahi fantasies are doing 
then everything is just peachy. And seven to nine days in a sandwich bag seems to do the trick. So I guess now the question I'm asking myself is do I go through all the seeds that I have left and try planting some of them in the sandwich baggies because that did seem to work and I, I at least know if things are going to sprout or not or do I just call well enough alone for the season. I mean I do have quite a few varieties but the goal is to fill the whole dungeon with pepper plants. So. A little feedback on that would be great from you guys. And I think that's probably where I'm going to wrap up today's video. I will be back again tomorrow. So until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You know the drill. All right. Bye.